Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we go any further, I need to just clarify because I've noticed that in my last few videos I always look like I'm squinting. It's because I have upgraded my lighting. So I went from having like a softbox, a softbox, a ring light. I got rid of the softboxes because they were so, so warm. <laughs> like so warm. Like I remember there was a period of time when I just couldn't film because my room was so hot and heatwave in the summer. But it's fine. It's sorted. So yeah, softboxes are gone. I've got an LED and an LED light. Light bank neither side. I've still got my ring light and then behind it there is another LED light. I have noticed that I really like the quality of my videos now that I've changed that up however I do find it really hard to look at the camera for long periods of time so if I'm struggling and going like this then it is just the lighting but I hopefully will get used to it soon or find a solution to <laughs> enable me to look at the camera. So yeah there's that. So today I went for a full beat. We did colour, I did just a full get ready with me again like I'm really liking doing just kind of makeup tutorials recently. A little change from the product reviews that I've been doing since I kind of started my channel just sitting having fun and playing with makeup. So today this is the look that came together. Obviously the yellow was kind of initially inspired by Kylie Jenner when she's that kind of yellow in her eye, but obviously I wanted to take it a little bit further um, and really do a full beep. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. Before we go any further, if you haven't hit subscribe, please, please, please do so. It would mean so much to me. Hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me. And if you want to see the long and winding road that we took to get to this makeup look today, then just keep on watching. So I'm just going to start off by prepping my skin using the Urban Decay Rebound Prep Spray. You know this is my favourite, so why mess with success, right? And then I'm just going to prime my skin with the YSL All Hours Primer. This is also a great favourite product of mine. I really like how it makes my skin look and feel. For my foundation today, I'm going to go in with the Lancome Tainted Doll Ultra Wear 24 Hour Foundation. This is one of Mark's favourite foundations. And see, whenever he wears it, I always just think his skin looks so nice. I'm, of course, using my little favourite Urban Decay brush for this. The F109 Contour Definition, of course. This is my favourite foundation brush. I love it. It's got a little angle and it gives me that really nice kind of beauty blender finish. So I'm just going to go in and use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow. I do like to still use my little brush just to pat off the edges and blend into my foundation, but I find this one you do need to go back in with your beauty blender and really kind of blend everything together, just to give it a really seamless finish. And this one is definitely a less is more situation, so I've made the mistake of like colouring my full under eye in with this concealer, and you get left with so much product, and it is a super full coverage, so it can be a little bit heavy if you put on too much. So I find what really works is just to dot it under the eye, and then you'll get so much pigment when you blend it out, so if you can see how much pigment I'm getting with just that little dot, can you imagine we'd colour that full thing and there would be way, way, way too much and it would be too much to work with. What I'm going to do now before the concealer gets any chance to dry or crease is pop a little bit of the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Pound Cake just under my eyes. I am going to do a kind of light bake today. The foundation and the concealer are both really full coverage and really matte so I don't want to put on too much right away of powder just in case it's too much so we'll just do a kind of light dusting let that bake and then if i need to go in and add more i can always do that later on anyway. okay so while we let that powder bake i'm just going to set the rest of my face using the urban decay all nighter waterproof setting powder i'm going back in with that big jaclyn hill brush that i don't know why i've been waiting so long to use because it is honestly so nice like i feel like i've wasted six months of my life not using this sooner then I'm just going to clean away all that bake and just make sure that I'm really blending it really nicely into the skin so that we're not left with any sort of like line here between my setting powder and my baking powder. We don't want any join. So I wanted a really nice kind of golden highlight today so I'm going to take the Gold MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette and I'm taking the shade Gold Coasting and I'm just really taking that like everywhere just to get a really nice kind of base. Obviously I probably will go with another highlighter anyway but this is just kind of the first one while the makeup is still kind of wet. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my beloved Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronzed and just really start to warm up the skin. Obviously, this is the bronzer that I use all the time and I do try and change it up sometimes, but this is the one that I'll always come back to. It's just like my go-to bronzer, so it's... And then nothing new here. I'm just going to carve out the sides of my nose and my contour with some more of that Huda Beauty Powder. I'm going to go in and do a little bit more contouring anyway, but we can do that while this sits. 
While that powder bakes, I'm going to just go in with a little bit of the two contour shades in the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. And I'm just going to mix them together and just kind of define the outer kind of perimeter of my cheek. Yeah, I actually forgot how much I love the Shape Shifter Contour Palette. I haven't really been contouring as much recently, I've just been kind of bronzing. But then I was like, oh, let me try that out again and I forgot it's actually so nice. And I also forgot how much I love the highlighter in it, so I will probably use that as well. And then I'm just going to clean away all that bake on my jawline and my nose just because I feel like it's been sitting here for way too long. Again, I still feel like my skin is looking super matte so I'm going to add a little bit of a shimmery bronzer in. This is one that I've actually had sitting for ages. This is the Revolution Vivid, Break, Vivid Baked Bronzer in the shade Rock On World. And it's just a really nice kind of baked bronzer with kind of like copper and gold through it so for someone who maybe likes a more bronzy blush, this is really nice and it's a really nice formula too and it just helps everything look super glowy. I actually forgot I had this and I really, really, really like it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the highlighter from my Shape Shifter palette and I'm just going to layer that on top. This is such a nice highlighter. I really wish I could buy this as a single because it's just so finely milled and it just gives the skin such a nice like glow to it. Like people sleep on this contour palette, it is so good. So we're basically just going to draw an exclamation point on our nose and then buff out the edges. Oh, that, that is a popping highlight. It makes me happy. So I'm just going to kind of buff out the edges just to make sure that my highlight and my contour aren't just stopping suddenly on my face. And we've got a nice fade because no one wants any go faster stripes in their contour. Am I right? And it's another excuse to use this big bad boy JH01 Morphe brush. New favourite brush. It is so soft. It is so nice. I love how I said I was going to use other Jaclyn Hill brushes and they're still sitting untouched. But the video is young, right? Okay, so now the base is done, I'm just going to set everything in place using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Get that makeup locked in place. Six hours later. So this has been a struggle bus. Um, since I last said I would jump off camera to do whatever I was going to do and not do brows on camera and stuff, I have had eye makeup <laughs> disasters. So I was trying to do a look using a couple of products that I hadn't used on my channel before and mm, no. So I eventually had a look that I liked and then I finished it and then of course because it was like the third time doing this eye off camera, it started streaming and ruined the full eye look. So I took a break, I had a cup of tea, I had a moan, I let my anxiety leave my body and then I just sat down and I just thought, Do you know what, I'm not, I don't care if I've used it before, I don't care if, if, um, I don't care if it's something that I've already used, I don't care if it's a really standard boring warm down Allen look, I just want to do something that I like because at the end of the day like, I just wanted to do something that I was really going to enjoy doing and I looked that I was going to like filming and I looked that I was going to like taking pictures off for Instagram. So we kind of came up with this look. Yellow is the kind of what I wanted to do today obviously. <laughs> I wanted to do something kind of yellow anyway but the look just wasn't doing what I wanted but this one I quite like so I'm happy how it turned out so I thought we'll just jump in and do it on the other eye. So I'm just starting off priming my eyes with the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I have been using this base non-stop since I got it. I really like it. This time I'm using the shade Illustrate, which is basically the one that I haven't used on my channel yet. The majority of my eye look is using an oldie but a goodie. A favourite palette of mine, which is the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. This has been a favourite of mine since I got my hands on it. I love it. I love the colour story. I love the formula. It is definitely one of those ones you can just go to when you're like, eh, I'm not having a good makeup day. It's like the one you can go to for that. So I really, really, really like it. So we're starting off using a colour that I've almost hit pan on actually. And that one is called Vibrant. It is just a really nice warm brown. And it is just kind of exactly what I was looking for for one of those neutral looks that, you know... We like so of course I am doing the Alan Craig special I am just stamping it into place onto my crease 
in preparation of blowing the colour out. So I like to just make sure I've got the colour really nicely stamped in because I'm going for more of a spotlight today. Make sure as well that you're really building the colour in the inner corner too. Don't forget about that. Then on a little MAC 221S brush I'm taking the colour to find me and I'm just working in little small sections at a time just to start to build up my colour and start to diffuse the edges of that last colour. The reason why I'm doing little small movements rather than window wiping it back and forward is just to make sure that I've got a lot of control over that colour so that it's not going to go everywhere. Eventually this looks going to end up going pretty high up but you can take that second colour as high as you like first rather than going in with the darker colour first and then having to really try and blend it out with no like area in your eye to blend it to. At least this way I can really control where I'm putting that colour at first. And then I like to just go back in with that first colour again and just really define that. At this point you'll notice I'm kind of tilting my brush almost upwards to push it into my crease. Once I've got the colour how I like it, I like to kind of add a little bit of height to my eyeshadow. So I'll always kind of push it up. And you'll probably find yourself going back and forward with these two colours to get a really nice blend. And then you probably will go back over it again later anyway. Sometimes when you're doing like proper Instagram looks, it is just kind of all about going back and forward and building up your colour slowly. But I really do recommend doing it slowly rather than going in with way too much product at first and just like packing your colour down and then just getting a big brush and just blowing it out because you're going to lose all control over the product and you're going to end up with a really, really mucky looking eye and who wants a mucky blend? Not me. Now I'm just using the colour Expression on a little Morphe M506. This kind of brush works wonders if you've got more hooded eyes like mine. It gives you a little bit of control with packing the colour down but still enough of a fluffy tip to help with your blend. And we're just really packing that right into the, like basically where we put that first colour, we're just packing the colour right onto there. And we're just kind of putting that everywhere we put the first colour. So my crease again, so that if you look straight ahead, you can just about see that colour. And that's going to help with defining my crease, as well as helping me to blend those colours together. Like for this kind of style look, when you want it really blown out, I like to kind of keep a brush for each colour, which is the opposite of what I normally do. Because then I can go back in with the first brush I used with barely any extra of the first colour and use that to push the edges out. And then once I've done that and I've got those two colours blended together, I would then be going in with the little MAC 221S brush with the lightest colour and just using that again to diffuse the colours. It is all about kind of going back and forward and building up your colour just so that you can get a really soft, seamless blend and everything looks really blown out. Like, as much as that's quite a technical look with the almost spotlight, I want the crease to be really soft and really blown out. And then once I've got those three colours kind of built up, again, I would just go back in with that big fluffy brush. And you'll notice I'm not actually moving the brush window wipers, I'm just almost kind of tapping the edges and pushing the colour out. Then I'm just taking a little tiny bit of the white Makeup Revolution cut piece canvas and I'm just placing that right in the centre of my lid. Now before I get any time to look up and let this get destroyed, I am going to use my finger and just pat that out. So if you're doing this with hooded eyes like me, do it one at a time. The product is really wet so it will spread quickly. So if you're just kind of focusing it in the centre of the eye and packing it out with your ring finger quickly before it has a chance to dry or spread, you'll get a really controlled finish. So I'm going to jump into my Morphe James Travis palette just to use this yellow shade B. I'm going to just set the whole white eye base with the yellow shadow. You'll see that I've had a little bit of transfer from that white primer just because I looked up when I shouldn't have but it's fine. I'm going to just set the whole lid in the yellow and then we'll worry about blending that colour out later. Happens to the best of us anyway. I love this yellow eyeshadow. I love it. I think it's so intensely pigmented and it just goes on like a dream. You see? Yeah, if you ever find that you've done that and you've got done your cut crease and the liquid's transferred onto your mats, do not worry. Just go back in with some more of the mats on top and it'll buff it out and you'll never even know that it happens. And then, because clearly I want to run out of this shadow as fast as possible, I'm taking some more of that initial crease colour. The first one we used that I'm hitting pan on, on my little Urban Decay Detailed Smudger, which is a really cool brush for like crease work like this. 
just to start diffusing the yellow so that it's blended into something really nice. If you find it is overpowering the yellow, do not worry, you can always fix that anyway. This is more about creating a blend between the darkest colour we used and the yellow. But then if you feel that you want to re-intensify the yellow, it's super easy to do. I'm then just going to start to smoke out my lower lash line. For that I'm just repeating the same colours that we used on top. I like to put, put them down with a small brush first and then blend them out. Just make sure you're really connecting the top and the bottom of the eyes together just to help you get a really seamless blend. I'm going to use more of the white cut crease canvas but literally the tiniest bit so I would avoid even using a brush. I would literally put a tiny bit on your pinky and then using a teeny tiny brush just dab a little tiny bit just in your inner eye. And then we're going to of course add some more of that beautiful yellow shadow from the Morphe X James Charles palette. For that really nice intense waterline, I am using the Inklot Gel Liner in the shade 84. It is a really nice intense yellow. I'm using a little Real Techniques light lip brush for this. The smaller the brush, the better with this product because otherwise you can end up pretty much coating your lower lashes as well. Which could be a vibe, but just not the vibe we're going for today. I'm going to do my lower lashes with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. No change there, that's what I use all the time, but you just have to make sure you're taking a lot of extra care to coat every lash. Otherwise you might be left with some bits of lash that are covered in a yellow liner, and we don't want that. Okay, I'm going to pop on now some eyelashes. I'll pop on the Doll Beauty Chloe Elizabeth lashes, and then I'll meet you back here and we'll pop on a lip. For lips, I am going in with a favourite combo of mine, which is the Liar Lip Pencil and Stark Naked Lipstick, both from Urban Decay. You can't go wrong with a classic nude. And this is my favourite nude. And we have made it to the end of this video. I am so happy it only took five hours, but the makeup is done and it looks super popping, if I do say so myself. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this look. I hope you understand the struggle it took to pull this look together. Um, moral of the story, don't try and use new products when you've got old faithfuls that you can use instead. But yeah, I'm so happy this look turned out nicely. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Give it a big thumbs up as well. Let me know if there's any other colour combos you'd like me to try. I know I really shouldn't use this James Charles palette again in my channel because this was literally like the third time using it. But I really like it so if there's any other looks you want to see from me please let me know in the comments below also if you see other looks on instagram that you would like me to recreate just tag me in that instagram photos comments and i can check it out if you guys haven't hit subscribe please hit it below before you go that would be great and hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me as you know you can keep up with me on my other social medias which will all be somewhere around here and yeah thank you so much for watching guys hope you guys like the video and i will see you next time bye